Okay, so with this video, I want to show you um, how to add the SSH key to your GitHub account. So for that reason, you first have to use package install open SSH. Run it, it takes some time to install um, the SSH package, the open SSH package, and then it will look like that. It will create some keys. Um, the key you need is the one that has here this number, um, SSH, O, host, ED, blah, blah, blah. And let's copy the path here, copy, and with CAT and the path, paste it we can output oops not that one we need uh, the public key that's here Pop. copy cat and paste it so that we need and copy this here the last part uh, you have maybe you have to to replace with your email address of your github account for example my email address or uh, yeah with the email address you use it your github account so the, the last part the last part here this this something at something mostly something at localhost that you have maybe to replace with your github account with your email of your github account and then copy this and this you have to add to your SSH keys. For that reason, for that you have to go to GitHub settings, and then SSH and GPG keys. Scroll down a bit, then you see um, an option to add SSH key. Give it a name. Paste in the thing you copied here, and then uh, you should be ready to go. I will also make this, and we will test it. Add a new SSH key. Give it a name. Um, um, Termux. Let's paste it without changing the last thing and let's see if that works. So add SSH key. Um, okay. Now we will get back here. List. Of course, we have our Hello World repository here. Um, I will remove it and we'll make a fresh start. RM, RF, Hello World. And I will clone it again. The thing now, by cloning, you have to go to your repository. Ah, yeah, there's no, no code button. Um, let's switch to the desktop view, desktop side. Okay, now here is the code button. And here you have to choose SSH. SSH, copy that. And now you can do git clone, clone, git, blah, blah, blah cloning into the world. Um, yes, I want to edit. Mm -hmm. Permission denied. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What did I do wrong? Let's get top at SSH key. Let's read the manual. Copy the SSH key, public key. Linux uh, web browser, copy the SSH public key, we did this, you, 
New SSH key. Maybe because um, we just installed OpenSSH. Okay, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe one step is missing to create a SSH key for the current user. Linux create SSH key. How to generate SSH key pair? Yeah, maybe that is missing. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. You run the command prompt to enter path of file. Okay, we have to create, yeah, for the current user, we have to create a SSH key. Before, let's do this. SSH key again, dash T RSA. Yeah, it's this. Mm -hmm. Save it in home. No passphrase. Let's leave it empty. Okay, now we have um, a public key in our dot SSH um, ID RSA. That should be the ID RSA dot pub, of course, the public key. Ah, what, what, what the heck? Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Not a less, but cut, cut dot SSH ID RSA dot pub. Okay, that's the one we need, of course. Sorry for telling you some different thing in the beginning. So let's copy that. Go to GitHub again. Um, oops. Here, uh, settings. Let's go to the desktop version, uh, to the mobile version again. Let's go SSH and GPG keys. Um, add a new one. Termux. Termux on pixel 4a. Let's paste it. Save it. Let's go back and let's try git clone again. Git status. Ah, let's switch to hello world. Status, everything is fine. Let's go to app. Source main Java. Let's create a new Java file. Chair dot Java. Let's go back. To dark drawing. Status. Let's add it. Commit. And push it. Yeah, so now there's no authentication needed. You authenticate with the key, the SSH key of your local Termux use of your of your use of the current user of the Termux uh, from the Termux app. Yeah. So with that you don't need a password, you don't need a personal access token, you can just use 
SSH keys for authenticating with GitHub, with your GitHub account. So thanks again and see you next time.